Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. I know Arcus was a mentor to you. This can't be easy to take. He had me fooled for some time, but I see his true face now. I followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. Dark Council members make for attractive targets. This Derek might be ending the Arcus problem for us. As you say, he's our problem. Meaning we need to resolve it ourselves. We must confront Arcus in that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. This is Lana. Darth Arcus isn't there. I can sense him. We have to learn what he and the Selkath are doing down there and confront him. To have your run of the place, you'll need to shut down the security grid. You have the coordinates now. I'll stay in touch. I've met our potential ally, who's already proved quite resourceful. He's learned of a prisoner in the security hub who's been scheduled for disposal by experimentation. This Jakaro sounds like someone you might want to talk with, as soon as you contend with the head of security. My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot. I implore you. I'm guessing you two have no choice but to stick together. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words. Jakara was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. <laughs> What sort of experiments would benefit from a Wookiee and a droid? We don't know what Karima is doing! I can only assume they mean to turn me to scrap and melt my processors. An extra hand wouldn't be entirely unwelcome. Interested? We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. Nice to see you've made a new friend. Or friends, as it were. But a warning. You're about to encounter members of the Order of Shasa. Force-sensitive Selkath who are neither Jedi nor Sith. Their complicity here does not bode well for us. Our ally just made note of strange power signatures in your vicinity. He believes they may be emanating from Rakata technology. It warrants a closer look. Tap into a nearby console so we can investigate. <laughs> She's meditating using her connection to Darth Arcus to pinpoint his location. She wanted you to know if I found anything, and I did. Energy readings from Garima's lab. Rakata technology's firing up like crazy in there. Don't know for sure what's going on, but I can pretty much guarantee it's got to be stopped. Yeah. 
You must be Garima. Time to talk. Is Hoge so hard nem kept Lisa? The hard way. Nem vog king avila gito torko. La tate hata mogot a. Are you making cyborgs in here? Ahajukata ferfiaka vault. Hosu idol kera stulas elva lasto as vult ahatasa. Amun kaja kostunk. Vota hoje mar imlit. Ete valahol. Eves tob ere ni as igrit. Len parnata fedel zetin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us! Shoot him already! Garima could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. I'm not gonna repeat myself, Jakaro. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? No, this is not my advisor, but rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Was she lying? Make your case for how you're not betraying the Empire with this Derek person. No, oh, I am most definitely acting against the Empire's narrow interests. But what I do is not for ill, it is for the future of this galaxy. Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need... comes crushing down upon itself. Enjoy a preview of our infinite army. Me again. Derek and Arcus subjected all the emergency pods. No going back the way you came. The good news is I slayed one of the pods. Got it on remote pilot headed for a docking hatch nearby. We should have the coordinates by now. Get moving. Getting readings from their alpha cyborg. That thing's serious and it's coming right for you. Stay sharp. Pod's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. If Lana vouches for you, I'll let that be enough. For now. Fair enough, bounty hunter. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron... 
except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Derek are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. The Order of Revan's no secret to me. I had a run-in with them on Drum and Kass. In an earlier incarnation, perhaps. They seem to have grown strong and bold, very bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... <coughs> This is Jakaro. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. Think I'd get more work from the Empire with the Revanites in charge, or less? They would take less kindly to you, but only a little. Not that we'll ever find out. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. With ears in both camps, we'll be better off against whatever threat the Revanites pose. I'm glad you feel that way. I admit I was concerned you wouldn't take to the idea. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? That time we spoke after reclaiming Korriban. I thought we shared something, a connection. Was I wrong? You aren't wrong. I wasn't sure if I should bring it up now, but I've missed you. I have to go now. There's much yet to uncover about the Revanites' plans, and the formation of this infinite army of theirs. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs>